and I'll come back to that in a minute. I'm going to put them all side by side so you can see. The second uh, of the, of the low-hanging fruit is uh, the BT, BT Central. Now, I know that BT Wholesale did not design this product for what it's being used, and in fact, it's now been discontinued, I think I'm right in saying. So you won't find you're up against this on a new bid, but at the time, these are, this, this has been uh, four or five years, more, probably more than that, actually, the BT Central. So at that time, it's a fantastic product because people said, well, I want a private broadband network, and there, this is the only thing that they, could, that they could really use. So this is taking uh, a, a BT Central, so a central pipe, the sort of things that ISPs use, and it's been, rather than attached into a data centre, it's been plugged into the head office of that company. And then they've splayed out the uh, tails in, in a private layer two network to their various, various sites. And I have a case study of that in a minute, so I'll, I'll explain to you how, how that works. But essentially, you're using a central pipe and tails to create a private network on, on, a, on a layer two basis. So if you look at the features of, uh, of this product, Okay, it's a legacy product, so it's, uh, it's coming out of uh, its, uh, its effective life. But there are, I mean, we come across lots of these. Uh, so, uh, and if you do, I mean, I think, so the, qu the first question is, do you have a, a carrier-grade MPLS network? Second question is, do you have a BT Central uh, network? Um, and what you'll find is these, they won't go faster than 2 meg, and at 2 meg, you're paying about, about 60 pounds a tail for a for a 2 meg, 2 meg down, 256k up. So it's quite limited. And as, as these requirements start to grow, so I need a, a bigger, I need an 8 meg circuit, I need a 16 meg circuit, um, the BT central product won't accommodate that. So they need to, they need to make a change. Also, these central pipes are kind of, well, sort of forklift upgrades, I would call them. So you get 10, 34 meg, 155. If you fill your 34 meg pipe, you need to go to 155. Um, and that's uh, going to be quite an, uh, quite an important uh, step in terms of cost and also in, in potential disruption. So, No internet breakout, as we talked about, but relatively low setup cost. doesn't matter because, of course, they're not selling them now. Um, but uh, at the time, yeah, they were a good choice for people that wanted to have a low cap capex option. So in if I take a, 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 a cost on that, again, it's hard to compare exactly because you can't plug... 10 lease lines into this, but if you were to take a cost of 400, 400 sites, 34 meg uh, product, uh, central pipe and then tails, you're about 600 grand a year uh, at, at, for, the, for that product. But again, that's something which they're going to have to change out at some point. So we're looking, I think where we're looking here is, uh, can, we, can we replace this product? Can we give them a better solution at a lower OPEX 